just me? Or does anybody else find it a little bit odd that even though Google and YouTube are related, you can't upload to YouTube from Google Drive unless you've downloaded Google Drive onto your system? Sounds like it's time for another episode of BMTV. In this episode, I have got a sneaky hack that uses Zapier to auto upload your videos from Google Drive into YouTube. Okay, so let's start by creating a zap. So what we need to do is choose Google Drive um, and then choose what event it is that we want it to pick up and we're going to choose new file in a folder. Now you will need to have created your folder first and have a video in that folder so that it can pick it up during this setup. I've selected my Google Drive. If you haven't already got Zapier set up and your Google Drive in there, it will walk you through connecting the two accounts. So here is where I'm gonna pick up the folder that I've created and I've called it upload to YouTube so I can always just add in any new videos into there and uh, that's gonna pick up and automatically load them. So it's picked up the file and it's picked up a video that's in there and all the gubbins that are related to it. So it's saying, yes, all of that exists, we can carry on. So next we want to pick up YouTube. Again, if you haven't got your YouTube uh, video account connected in Zapier, it will walk you through doing that. So we're going to collect, select upload video because that's what we want to do and pick up my account, which is already in Zapier, but as I say, it will walk you through connecting yours. Now, it's going to require some data here. It wants a title, so we're gonna pick on the title, and it also requires a description, but there won't be a description because it's just a file name, so just pick title again so that it doesn't fail, and then next we're going to choose the file. Now it might show that it exists but is not shown. I'm also going to then pick on the, uh, the privacy status um, and select unlisted. So it's gonna upload it, but it will be unlisted, so it's not gonna be public. So the top three are required, the rest are then optional. We then click on test the action. It's gonna test that it can do all of the things that we've asked it to, and then we can publish that zap. Now, this is then going to run periodically. So every time it runs this automation, when it picks up that there is a new file that's been added into that Google Drive, it's going to upload to YouTube. Let's just quickly give this zap a title and then we should be good to go. So it's gonna automatically run it, but we can force it to run by heading over here on the right-hand side, clicking on the three dots and clicking on run. And what that will do is it will manually check to see if there's something in there. So I've got videos in there already. I'm going to add a new file in there now just to make sure that it actually works. I'm gonna pick any old file, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we'll pick this one and click upload and let it do its thing. Now the trigger is when a new file is added to that Google folder. So even if you are moving files from another Google folder, it should trigger. So now that's uploaded, I'm going to run it manually. So it's now looking in my G drive where I've told it to look to see if there are new items in that folder. If there are new items in that folder, then it needs to upload them into YouTube. So it's telling me that that is successful. So we'll just let it finish doing its thing and then we'll go and double check it. So this will run, as I say, periodically. So you don't need to keep running it manually, but if you have uploaded something recently, you can come into Zapier and get it to run. So if you if there's something you need in there soonish, um, then you can run it manually. Otherwise, just let it run itself every now and again. 
So whenever I create new videos that I want to go into YouTube, I'm going to whiz them into that folder and let it do its stuff. Then I can come over to YouTube, give it a quick refresh, and let's see if the video is there. There it is. So it started to upload. Once that's uploaded, you can come in and edit it as normal. So you can edit the title, the description, and all of that jazz. So I do this with my BMTV episodes. Once I've created them, I'll upload them into that file um, and let Zapier do the work. So I hope that's useful. As always, give me a shout if there's anything that you're not sure of, but that's how you can automatically upload your videos from Google Drive into YouTube. <laughs>